If there's one group that's had to drastically alter the way they do their jobs every day, it's teachers. All of Central Florida finished the school year with distance learning, and most teachers had just days to figure out the best ways to continue to teach. But some, like Katherine Moore, who's been teaching for 37 years, went above and beyond to get results for her kids. When I think of hero, hero um, as a child, I used to think it was the Superman or the Batman. And then as I matured, I thought about it more, and I said, you know what? My father can be a hero. A teacher could be a hero. By fifth grade science teacher Katherine Moore's own definition, she's something of a hero. A hero is someone who just acts to help something else. But as far as she's concerned, she's really just someone who takes care of her Princeton Elementary School kids. I always try to become what I call their mama bear, and they're my cubs. And so I try to create a family of us together. So when the time came to change her lesson plans for the year on a dime and do her best to get results for those cubs, Moore decided she had no choice but to go all out. I had to try a lot of different ideas and I would ask the kids, you know, what did you like? What did you not like? What could I do more? And that's when I started to do the things with the students, interactive more with the experiments and such. Experiments like these that even had me pretty captivated. I'm going to put water in one of the cups. Ordinary water. You saw which one had water, right? Keep on watching the water. I, I mean, I'm sure it was that one. You sure it was this one? I, I thought so. Oh my gosh. There's no water. Well, it's, it's science. It's not really magic, it's science. It's based on polymers. Do you think I can take this skewer and, and poke it through the balloon and not pop it? Yes, I talked to balloons. Okay, there we go. So this is <laughs> a balloon on a stick. <laughs> okay. And the way that it works is, again, based on polymers. Moore was also able to connect their science lessons to help give kids a better understanding of what was going on with the coronavirus pandemic and how best to stay safe. There was a lot of things online that I used uh, showing the difference between washing your hands for, for 20 seconds versus hand sanitizer. We talked about the way that I meet with you, but you might have met with four or five other people and then the effects scientifically, you know, what could happen. I would be really exposed to what, who you met and the other person met. Moore says right now she's not sure what school looks like moving forward, but she says she'll do whatever she has to to make sure those students get what they need. They're my cubs. You know, they're, they're my children for that 180 days and more than that, really. And if it means me having to go to someone's house and standing my distance away and showing them how to do something through their window or their front door, I'll do it. I mean, we do those kind of things for our kids. Moore says what she is looking forward to most is being able to interact a little more with her students. She says she's been busy exploring lots of different options to make sure to be able to do it safely.